L. It's my turn. Okay. Um, I'll take one of these. Wait, I have no sound. Yep. I have no sound. Where did my sound go? I gotta have the NES sounds for playing racing chess. It's in of important strategic value. Um, so if I remember right, wait, that's check. I can't do that one. Um, can't do that check either. But I can move my king. And other stuff moves. Okay. So now I can take one of these. Maybe race my king to the other end? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, might as well just run it, right? What's the worst that could happen? Maybe that wasn't so bright. Maybe my pieces are misplaced. Certainly the um, checking being illegal aspect of this makes the game more fun. Um, since it definitely allows me to hang pieces in strange ways. Okay, so now you're actually threatening to take my queen, I assume. Um, still, how bad can this be, right? Oh, I see. That's kind of bad. Alright, we're going to take that. I guess hope. What is there other than hope? Um, Not entirely sure what I'm doing. <sighs> oh, right. I still can't check you. That's true. Um, okay, what else can I try? I think I'm in trouble. I'm pretty sure I'm in deep trouble.
I do queen f8. I do queen f8. It's confusing. Queen f8, queen takes, rook takes, rook c8, king e7 loses. Oh, well that's not good. That's seriously not good. Um, all right, is there anything else I can try here? Maybe I just have to keep the tension here. Um, I don't know any of these end games. I mean, I can guess, but I don't know them. And this is just based on what I've seen earlier in Stockfish analyzing games. It does weird things. And pieces can hang in strange ways and everything just be okay. Um, huh, that's a problem. At least it looks like a problem. What do I do about it? Um, okay, I see I'm getting more time on my clock. That does help. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm thinking I should just move my rook on d8 somewhere. I think that this is a draw with best play, I think. I'm not sure how you break the barrier. I certainly am not interested in breaking this barrier, so um, I'm not sure what can be done. Apologize if my moves are unenterprising, but um, uh, what can I do? I'm not in a position of strength here, so I don't really have much to negotiate with. Okay. Uh huh. I 
I mean, yeah, I am going to see the one tactic in the position. If there's a single tactic there, I'm going to spot it. But uh, Perhaps I missed something earlier. I'm not sure. This looks even cleaner. Okay, and that's a draw. Okay, so I suppose you're going to teach me a thing or two about openings here. Yeah. Yep, yep, GG. So why does this not work? Or if it does, how does it work? I'm sure you've got this worked out, right? go there instead of b5. I don't see any advantage over the square I picked, or of the square I picked, over its alternative. curious. I definitely want to push things to the extreme here. Um, surely there's got to be some way that white can win this, right? There's got to be some solution to this problem. might be onto something here.
No, I get that it's not entirely symmetrical, but I think I still have some advantage out of this. See that my bishop's attacked. Um, wait, okay, you can't check my king, so I can do stuff like this, but that frees your king to move. Um, Oh, why don't I just don't go king e5? Because that would let you promote and not me. That's a reason. Um, yeah, let's go there, though. Bishop on the rim is awesome. It's a famous saying that I just made up, but one day it'll might be famous, maybe. Um. Oh yeah, that's right, I'd given up the E4 square. Um. Okay, whatever. Just play this by ear now. But it's probably going to be a draw. Um, It's going to be a difficult draw for sure, but I think I can still draw this. It's weird being able to put pieces on pre-ish, just because um, check is illegal. Oh, can't I take that? Like, is it not enormously advantageous for me to take the knight? What am I missing? 
How is this not just awesome for me? Depending on where the rook is, I just interpose the bishop, and that's GG, right? Am I missing something? This game is like, what would you not do in a chess game? It's basically what would you do in this game? Um, So at least this tempo, the rook cannot be taken. Um, huh. That's complicated. Have to take the knight. And then I have to show some technique to win this. Well, it's quite a game. Don't mean to be a jerk or anything about that, but uh, I think I actually played that well and there was just an oversight there. In my experience, these bishops are just monsters, so that's why I'm trying to eliminate it, uh, or eliminate them. of a shish kebab here. Um, okay. Wait, do I just take on e1? No, because then you take back and I can't recapture. Um... I think this is okay though. This is awfully confusing. Wait, what? How is that in any way a playable move?
think I have to take that. I was sorely tempted to take on e1, but I didn't see... Like, after rook takes e3, it appears that material is just gone. Um... I'm a materialist. Yeah, no, I think my piece has got this covered. As long as I'm always able to put a piece on the back rank, there's really not too much danger here. Okay, well, that's a gutsy move. Um, yeah, I'm not a believer in that move. So I've got this all covered, so what's the idea? Again, I got bishop takes here covered, as well as rook takes there. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got this one. So in my mind, the key question here is, is there a stalemate? Um, I hope not. Um, So if there were any stalemate, this now lifts the threat because now a3 is um, uh, available. And I just have to find a way to get my queen in front of the rook. Or behind it, really. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Sorry to keep you up so late. Obviously, this is not the ideal hour for either of us. But we did have some interesting games. Uh, so, that was fun. Sorry to make us run so late with these games. Um did not intend for that to happen, but hopefully something can be learned from it all. Um, I am curious about this last 
Well, not necessarily this one, but the one before it. But let me copy this. Copy. And then plug it into my dev instance and just see what it thinks. Uh, import game. Just for my own reference, I grab the URL here. Copy that. Click import. And analysis has begun. Uh, and we got our special little quote here. When you trade, the key concern is not always the value of the pieces being exchanged, but what's left on the board. Um, don't know why that's in the quote database, but okay, fine, sure, why not? All right, take care. Um, so we're just going to verify, okay, white was slightly ahead here. Um, and then blew it with king h5. Yeah, which is exactly my reaction, is that king h5 just looked silly. Um, better would have been just taking the knight. I was worried about that. <laughs> okay, apparently that's the square I'm supposed to choose to blockade on. Uh, I don't know why that one. Why not a6 or a5? I mean, a5 I could rule out pretty easily, but a6 seems to make a lot of sense. How do I know that? I guess on a7 I hit a rook, which is kind of a nice thing. Oh. Really? This defends the rook. That would also defend the rook. I don't see the difference. I'm not seeing the difference at all. I guess the difference is that um, with king g5, I just take this rook. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. In this game, you're supposed to be a greedy, greedy materialist. Um, anyway. Yeah, as expected, that just flatlined there. But I was more curious about the game we played before that. Let's take a look. Analysis board. Uh, copy import game paste grab the URL copy import this one I think should be more interesting well, this also passed pretty quickly um, go through detailed variations in your own time Think in a general way about the position in your opponent's time, and you'll find you get into time trouble less often. That your games have more content to them, and that their general standard rises. See that? That's an excellent chess quote. Um, that's pragmatic advice right there. Something that's not trite and obvious. I mean, maybe some people think that's obvious, but I think Heisman's things are just self-evident. Now, granted, it's the context in which he presents the self-evident quotes that is actually meaningful, like where he's presenting entire games and saying, this is where the student messed up, and this is how. And he goes into really great detail, and that's cool. But All right, so what's the deal here? Can e7. King's a blunder on account of something, something, something. King takes. Wait, what? No, that's not right. The best move is king takes e5. Yeah, never mind that there's this thing. Um, yeah, something's not right. So, this game helped me identify a racing king's bug. Which, that's cool. Whatever. Um, but, minus that one detail, I think that racing kings works pretty well. Just the AI. Um, it's awfully slow at detecting this win possibility, but I eventually found it. Anyhow, thanks to one and all for watching, and um, 
looking forward to the Chess Whiz Cup 2 at the end of the month. Um, and I hope to see you around. Maybe even see you there.